So to model the EMT wave, so we can use something we call as the Helmholtz equations. Okay, the Helmholtz equation we can you can find in study two page four actually to four eight five. It discuss more detail about this. So I will not discuss detail about these equations, but we can see in the book. So this is a uh, equations. Okay. This is basically Laplacian. The Laplacian of E is equal to mu s ln del square E divided by del P square. Right, so we can see that we have a mu s ln. So that means we have both the magnetic and electric part. So uh, when we expand more, let's let's say we only interested to analyze in Cartesian coordinate, okay? For the Laplacians, so we have the del square e divided by del x square. We have the x, uh, x, y, and z um, component. So it's equal to this thing, All right? So um, to simplify analysis, we have to make assumption, which is the electric field has only one component. For example, we have an EX. Okay, so the direction of propagation is Z. Okay, so this is uh, the example of the expression. The E field is equal to the it has only the X component. Okay, or isolate uh, isolate in the x directions and a function of time and also the propagation direction is z okay so it, we can make the equation to be simpler so this is our um expressions so we move to the e, e y and z so this is our equations so further uh, detail to, to solve this equation this is what you got okay we have uh, the, the, the uh, quite the long de derivation so you have to see more detail about this maybe you will be asked to derive the equations who know so but I want to stress about this equation the, the solution consists for example the electric field here ex it has the ex plus and ex minus and then this function, or oh, in terms of the, the, the we, we assume that the wave is sinusoidal, okay? So in, in terms of the cosinus, we have the Ex plus cos omega t minus beta z plus Ex minus cos omega t plus beta z. So we have Ex plus and Ex minus. So what does this mean? Okay, this wave propagate in forward or incident wave and backward reflected wave so we can see that the wave can be uh, further propagate forward and also it can be reflected okay so the uh, from this expression so we can illustrate into this figure we have the ex plus propagate forward and also we have the ex minus which is the backward okay so we have to condition here okay for magnetic field also it will be the the solution will be a more similar okay this is the solutions basically this is a these two equation okay will be used to 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 derive this this also you have to study yourself Similarly, for magnetic field, we have the forward wave and the backward wave, right? And then for H, H, normally we have only one component, which is Y. But it can be different because we have, when we have E in the direction of X, or they only have X components, and we set H to B, in the white uh, h only have y component and propagate uh, or isolate 
uh, only for y uh, direction and both wave we propagate in z direction okay so our limit and for uh, limit to the focus on the propagating wave in forward direction only so we have we we consider only the uh, forward uh, direction so the wave backward will be ignored and then uh, another thing is no component of E and H in the direction of propagation. That means uh, our propagation in Z direction. Okay, so we don't we don't have any uh, Z and Z component for E and H. Okay, so E Z and E H is equal to zero. E and H always normal to each other, perpendicular. Eh? Direction of propagation is, this is the direction of propagation, AP equal to AE cross AH. So please use this in your solutions. So the direction of E and uh, cross product is direction of X. So we can see that the propagation, propagation, the E field and H field has uh, or always perpendicular each other's. This is actually the illustration of the electromagnetic wave. It consists of electrical field and magnetic field propagate in the same direction as shown in the figure. Let's say we set a uh, E field to be, to be in the X direction, this is X. So you can see that the E field isolate up and down to the x axis right and the magnetic field if here is a y component so it uh, isolate around the positive x positive y and negative y so this is a this is a sinusoidal uh, wave okay so you can see that is perpendicular each other right and these two wave is always propagate in this direction with these z directions okay so um, this is a, a final expression for e field okay when we consider all the forward uh, directions so the e component equal to e naught so this is amplitude cos omega t minus beta z x so it has x components and here something related to the the direction of propagation here is the direction of propagation this is z okay we have beta and we have omega omega is the radian frequency and we have time so uh, this is uh, basically the general equation so basically E can be in terms of Y direction and it, cost, it can also be in Z direction. So that's mean in our course we only consider that the E and H only have Y component but not necessarily um, X and Y. It can be Y to Z. So we have to use we have to see carefully the, the expression because here normally z it can be changed to x or it can be y so be careful so when we further analysis uh, this expression we, we can say that the omega t minus beta z is always a constant and the z is equal to omega over beta t minus a constant okay so uh, the dz over dt is basically omega over b because only we have only t here okay so this is what we call a velocity velocity because the distance divided by time okay distance in a cycle divided by time in a, in a cycle or we can uh, or you also can be represented as a lambda divided by t lambda is basically the wavelength t is the period of the wave 
or we can write as a lambda f because f frequency equal to 1 over period 1 over time here okay this is a further analysis of this